Alexa, snooze. Okay, snoozing. A few moments later. Uh, Alexa, snooze. Snoozing. One eternity later. Are you kidding me? Not a chance. Oh, Alexa, snooze. Okay, snoozing. It is the end of the first day of school where I haven't been into school on the first day of term because I have officially finished. So yeah, it's basically, I suppose, the first day of the rest of my life, or certainly the first day of another chapter. So yeah, uke club, which I'm very much looking forward to, and I'm actually playing ukulele rather than bass. What have I done with my first day? Admin, basically, catching up on a lot of emails, trying to sort out uh, pupils or future pupils for lessons which I am starting to organise. Uh, we've got a painter and decorator in at the minute doing our hall and landing. So yeah, trying to uh, keep him uh, with cups of tea and things like that and making sure he knows what he's doing. It's just been so nice not to have that anxiety of the start of term or anything like that. And I am very much looking forward to sitting down and playing my uke. and yokes from the over the summer holidays so yeah it'll be nice to catch up with a few people obviously i've seen some of them over the summer and i've seen the eucomaniacs a lot but some of the others i haven't seen since oh july <laughs> time we've ever played this so I'm just enjoying Barry's face of what the heck are we doing <laughs> on a rating of wonky donkey slightly below yeah we just tried a new song called ghost chickens in the sky I did hold it together but only just and now they're having an actual serious conversation about it. Do you like that there? Eh? I like the line of tofu, but tofu and everywhere love it. I just laughed at the time of that. It's going to replace the Monkey Donkey song. Right, ladies, when do I see you next? Saturday. When will I see you again? Definitely see Emma and Vicky and Jude on Saturday. <laughs>
So what are we on about day three of new chapter of life? It's been a busy morning so far. Uh, I've been on the phone sorting out some project work for the ukulele workshops in local primary schools uh, with the music service. I found some paperwork. I had to go through a load of stuff to do that. Uh, and I've done a bit of general tidying up around the house. So I want to start to check a bit of equipment, some wireless stuff in here. Obviously, there's a bit of tidying up to do first of all, so I'm going to crack on with that. Friday afternoon uh, at the end of my first week as not being a classroom teacher. Um, oh, I've kept myself busy, don't you worry. Uh, I have been trying to sort out a few more uh, things with lessons that I'm trying uh, to organise with online. Uh, I've been in touch with the music service because I am going to do a little bit of project work uh, around some of the local primary schools with ukulele. Uh, so that's all in order at the minute. Uh, and just generally sort of catching up with things as well. I've actually spent this morning editing uh, the latest ukulele Wales video. I managed to do a fair bit around the house as well, mine. It's clean and it's been in quite a while. The garden is looking good as well. The weather, oh, it doesn't know what it's doing. Like today now, we've had thunderstorms. I'm sitting here in a t-shirt at the minute. My anarchy in the ukulele t-shirt is Friday night. Um, disclaimer, I don't always wear an anarchy in the ukulele t-shirt on a Friday. They do their live shows. Uh, but I thought this morning, ah, I'm looking forward to it. Let's put it on. So I'm actually taking a little break from the editing at the minute. As you can see, I'm in Vanni De Vito. Uh, and we've got a little problem with the fridge. I think it was Shrook Fest. It sort of just stopped working. So I'm just on my way down to a South Wales campers. They're a local specialist who've dealt with Vanny since we've had him. So I'm hoping they're going to be able to take a quick look at it for me. So I thought I might as well run a few errands while I was out and about. I got a few things I got to pick up in Astragun Lice on my way back up. I have been told get coffee. That is top of the list. Now, if I go home without coffee, I'm in trouble. Then I can get on with a bit more editing because tomorrow we got a busy day. The Eucomaniacs are playing in the heart of the valley show. So I really am keeping everything crossed that it stays dry for that. to Dowie now which is where my old school is in fact let's have a quick whiz round just to see if school is still there or not and if it's surviving without me yay for little car park is full of staff Kids have just gone in from having their lunch. The seagulls are eating all the pickings. And I don't think anybody spotted me. Awesome. And if you're meeting me for the first time, why is my camper van called Vanny? Because Vanny is a Vito. Vanny de Vito. <coughs> this is all going to look very very different tomorrow because at the end of this road is where the heart of the valley show is 
is the camper van place so no, it looks open right we'll come back there in a minute you can just see ahead now in between the trees as i come round there we go uh, you can see them setting up ready for tomorrow's show it's an agricultural show so there will be some animals there but there'll be all sorts of other things as well stalls uh, there'll be music playing including the eucomaniacs um, they had wood carving last year sheep shearing all sorts of things so yeah looking forward to that so south wales camper vans they are brilliant i've got to say well that was all very successful that was the offender uh, i popped into south wales campers giving them a shout out they're brilliant top class guys in there explained he said let's have a little look turns out it was just that pesky fuse uh, so vanny is all working fridge works again i said how much do i owe and he went oh nothing he said oh get me some cake I've got a coffee uh, at the show tomorrow because they are local they will be they'll have a stand at the heart of the valley show so yeah i'll get him a cake and a coffee so yeah vanny is all good to go again i am heading back up the valley and i'm not gonna lie it looks a little bit ach up there at the minute with weather uh do my little chores and get back to some editing oh come on man i'm sure we can go a bit faster than 36 miles an hour i got places to be things to do well i got videos to edit and anarchy and the ukulele to watch a bit later come on we're gonna go and get coffee man A few moments later I got the coffee Nescafe Gold Blend Intense If I get the wrong one He gets intense Okay yeah You can never just go into a shop And buy just the one thing you need I did get a few other bits and pieces So I'm going to head into Ostrogunlice Our village now uh, Finish off the last of the chores And then go back to editing reason that's called the clockworks there used to be a watch factory here many years ago in fact the whole site was known as the TikTok site of Astragan Lice. This is like rush hour on a Friday. This is about as busy as it gets. So Astragan Lice technically is a town but it is tiny. Um, it's quite an old town. There is a river that splits through it. So I better go and get a few things. Chemist first I think. Right got my prescription. A couple of other bits and bobs and then home. Ah, oh, the bollards in Estragon Lice, I've got to mention these. Uh, we have a little group called the Knitting Nanas, uh, and they make brilliant little decorations, not just for some of the bollards, but if I can't show you this, that, you see it, is our post box. They've been doing it for years. It is pretty little town, I've got to admit. The flowers, We've got these pots all along the street and then the flowers up above they make a real effort at Christmas time Christmas trees everywhere one of our bakeries which is not Greg's we do have a Greg's but it's not my favorite here I am gonna quickly stop here for a minute I have loved this chapel for years. I've had dreams about owning this chapel and maybe turning it into some kind of, I don't know, ukulele centre or a music hub or something like that. Um, but unfortunately it is owned by somebody uh, and I have been in there recently and asked them 
you know do they want to sell it but now they've got big plans but yeah in my mind that would make a perfect ukulele place you can see the sign at the top there ukulele rails can you No, they haven't got the one that I want. Never mind. Where I get my hair cut. It's my mate's place, the Blue House Fabric Haberdashery, but I don't think she's there today. And then our river. We've had a fair bit of rain, but there isn't as much water coming down it as I expected, to be honest. Oh, she's not open. She normally is. I do remember her saying she had something on today. Oh, we'll visit Ali another time. So I think that's all my chores done now. Uh, I'm going to head back to the car, get home, finish editing, um, watch Anarchy in the ukulele later on this evening. And there's Vanny DeVito. I mentioned him a little while ago. Yep. A Mercedes DeVito. Let the registration plate P33 Uke. So we've got P, we've got Uke, and we got Puke. Mate, man, how bloody close have you gone to me? I thought somebody had parked a little bit close to me. He's having a laugh, surely. Two thousand years later. Cheers, matey. Diolchen Vaur. Okay, real time. So there we are. That was the chemist uh, that I first went into. So we're right by where par uh, Vanny was parked. Oh, see, total gridlock. This is how close I actually live to the village. Oh, that was the village that we just drove through. <laughs> and of course, this road is a 20 mile an hour road, um, which yeah, I totally get, it's residential. I'm going slightly above that, not much. Mind you, I shouldn't tell you, but yeah, Hubby had a speeding ticket earlier this week. He is utterly annoyed with himself. It's not so bad. Right, we're still on real time, I just forgot to turn the camera around. A successful mission back to doing some editing. Fridge working, coffee, and other stuff bought. Time for a brew. So, continuing with my first week not in school. Uh, it's a local show today, Heart of the Valley in Pontadawi. Funnily enough, where my school is as well. So, I'm likely to see maybe some kids, maybe some staff as well. Uh, hubby is somewhere. Hello. <laughs> Helping me carry stuff. Um, yeah, miserable day. It was really, really sunny last year, so I'm a bit gutted. We'll have to see. So, yeah, but a nice day out uh, in Pontadawi at the Heart of the Valley show. Yeah, they're arriving in style, open top bus and everything. Richard's claiming he took the top off that bus, but I'm not so sure. <laughs> we'll see. Shamai! We got your wellies on? Yes, yes, we got our wellies on. Right, let's get in there then. Right, so Heart of the Valley 2024. Let's go and have a little look to see what is here. We brought minimum equipment today. Rich has got my stands and I've got my base and that's pretty much it. So I'm hoping nothing goes wrong. Um, Imagine he'd dress in there. He'd love it. He would love it. Um, no, I'm not to blame. No? I'm never to blame.
just seen the Kumtawi uh, choir stage, caught up with a couple of teachers, lots of kids who I've taught. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to try and grab something to eat now, but there's a lot to choose from. Heart of the Valley, did we enjoy? Yes. yes. Did the crowd enjoy? Yes. They loved us. Did they want us more? Yes. That's all right then.